guys, this is um, podcast started from the bottom. I am your host today, and we have our co-host. Um, this is PW Esquire, and today our special guest is Taylor Blackman. Hi, how Hello. you doing? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to nice meet you. you. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> So, okay, so today we're basically going to be talking, asking you some questions about your career, your life, and all that jazz. So, you guys ready? Yep, ready. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's do the intro. <laughs> Woo! That was cool. I like that. Yes. I like that. That's cute. Well, we're so honored to have you here, Taylor. We thank, thank you, you for, for agreeing to come in. Yes, thank you for having me. This is new. I never done nothing like this before, so <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> sorry if I was teasing from left to right. <laughs> it's okay. We appreciate you coming. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So we're just gonna get into some questions, try to you know um, get this thing going. So one of the first questions for us, um, we know that you model and you do clients and you're also into nursing. I know some things you have sent me prior. Um, so can we just start off with your age, your height and your weight? My weight? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can probably tell what size I am. <laughs> but okay, so my name is Taylor Blackman, but I usually go by Tay B or Taylor. Um, I'm 24 years old. I just turned 24 in October. Um, my height is five, six and a half, five, seven. It's a little iffy. And my weight is 107. <laughs> okay. Wow. Awesome. 107? Yeah, I'm really tiny. <laughs> well, I'm only tiny because my height. That makes yeah. Sense. I mean, I think it's good. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. So our basically our intro question for every person we bring on here is um, just a way may you introduce yourself and why you're here. Okay, so I was introduced by Eraya Townsend to do this podcast and just basically discuss about my previous experience with modeling and how often I'm staying in tune with it. Um, I'll probably go into more depth with that and a little talk about my new avenue, business avenue I'm going into is Lashes, which is called Top Dedicated Beauty, TDB which stands for Taylor Danielle Blackman as well. So it mixes. Nice. Um, I just started that and it's this far is going pretty good. Um, do I need okay. To collaborate. <laughs> awesome. Okay, that was good. <laughs> okay. Definitely. Awesome. So when did you um, become, when did you start modeling? I started modeling about, how was I? Like my first very fashion show, I was in middle school. That was the most embarrassing time ever. Cause I was like picked on for being really, really skinny. So my mom got me into that and I watched Top Model a lot. And the first fashion show I did was for Dillard's back in Jeffersonville, Indiana. And I tripped on stage. Oh no. <laughs> I was like, oh. gonna, like give up, but more people kept saying, well, you're really tall, you're slim for your size, so I think you can keep doing it. So pretty much I've just been freelancing on my own ever since I was, I think I was like 12 years old. Yeah. Um, but I didn't start getting into major fashion shows till I got into high school and a little bit of college. My biggest experience was meeting Coca Rocha. Um, that was in New York um, over the summer in 2020, July. That was really fun. Um, what, what what's that? Sorry to cut you off, but what's Coco Rocha? What, what is that? Coco Rocha? She's yeah. a model. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. I, I sent a picture of her uh, with me and her. Okay. So yeah, we got has, those. Yeah. yeah. So she has like a model boot camp that's worldwide now. So she brings in, she actually handpicks their models, her girls, and I was actually handpicked by her. So I was like really shocked that I got the email, like you can join. And I went to the boot camp. It was like an amazing experience for that, which is that's nice. Coco Rocha. Oh, that's Coco Rocha right there. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That was when I cut off my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, it looks That's nice. Awesome. It was wow. Really cool. And she styled us. We got um a couple of photo shoots done. She talks us, um, explain the ropes of the modeling industry and like what to be aware of, what um what contracts to sign, and you know, basically the ropes of everything you need to know, which kind of helped give insight for us. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. That That's picture awesome. was great. <laughs> it was it was really dope. Very nervous though. Cause like you get starstruck. <laughs> yeah. Like this really happening. <laughs> that was actually some of our next question is like, what is some of your past experience that you have done in the modeling industry, even personally for yourself as like freelancing? Um, another, I, actually, I also got to meet Bianca Golden. She was one of America's next time model contestants. Uh, I can't remember which cycle it was, but she was one of the girls that got her hair cut off. She's from New York. Um, now she just teaches. She's a teacher in New York now. Um, that was a great experience I did. It was um, a model competition that I did in New York. I won that. Oh. I didn't send no pictures of it, but cause that's, dude, that, <laughs> that's a lot. You um, won it? You won the competition? Yeah, I did. I did. What? I was, sending some old pictures of that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, yeah, that was happened. It was really nice. Um, this far, I just graduated from college, so I had to put modeling kind of on the back burner because the city I was in in school didn't have a lot of modeling gigs. So right now I'm just trying to find some other stuff to get into. Like, I'm going back for school for nursing. Nice. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. The modeling industry is a little tough. It's a little yeah. Tough trying to, you know, get out there because everybody wants to be a model now. What 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 would you say to be the hardest part, I guess? Like, uh, uh, I would say getting the right connections. Because you can, anybody can say book with you, but it also depends on the quality of their work are they going to pay you for your time and a lot of time that has happened where i'm really good at my job but they don't want to pay me for my work and mm. i ain't got time for that <laughs> like right. i don't have time for that. <laughs> yeah. and you know and it adds wow. to your traveling huh that's understandable for sure it is and so I'm I live in Louisville, Kentucky. So this isn't a modeling industry area. Everybody wants to be local modeling. So I pretty much just need to go to a different state if I'm really want to take it more serious than what I was before. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, even though the internet too, you think the internet is like you can put your photos out there and you know. Yeah, um, I mean, I've been reached out by a couple um, places like in New York and Chicago. It's just during those times I was in school, so it was hard for me to just up and yeah. do that. And plus, right. if they're not going to pay me for my traveling, then no, I'm not going to do that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, She's like, no. you don't pay me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Like, that's right that's I've been right doing it for six years now like i feel yeah. like i should you know enjoy that part but it doesn't sure. really occur as much for me mm. just gotta mm. keep working hard you know we're all here trying to start from the bottom <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah exactly so exactly. when it comes to nursing and modeling what made you go into nursing well So when I first started college, I was a nursing major, but I messed up my grades. So I had to, they forced you out of the program. So the program I graduated with, I'm not really into it. It's like casework stuff and no, I don't want to help. I don't want to help the families as much. I mean, that's good, you know, but they need to learn to help themselves. (laughs) Uh, I, I care more for like, the elder population when they're sick. Um, So I'm a CNA. I got CNA certified in high school. So that actually helped me do 
go towards the nursing field, the healthcare field. So I'll be starting my nursing program as an LPN in April. I'll finish next April and then eventually go back and do the RN. That's nice. That sounds mm. great. Mm -hmm. How are you going to like try to balance both? Are you going to try to do both at the same time? Or are you going to put like one more as a priority? I'm going to put my nursing first because I know how my study habits are. And if I put anything else before that, I'm not going to graduate. Yeah. And I think mm -hmm. it's highly important. And plus, like, you know, nursing is worldwide. Everybody needs it. And it's a guaranteed job. Modeling is a hit or miss. Especially if yeah. I'm not signed to a good agency like Ford and Wilmina. Yeah. So mm. Mm. I want to go on the safest route right now. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. But I mean, <laughs> definitely having some success, obviously, in the field of modeling. Is it more of a thing that you just it's it's not like you can't get an agent right do you feel you can't you can get an agent do you feel you can get an agent if you really really wanted to i feel i can get an agent um like in indianapolis they have a couple modeling agencies out there and i've actually auditioned for a couple of them but what messed up was when i tell them i have a full-time job with my cna they act like they can't really work around it with me mm. so and then i just get don't get signed but they'll say like you do mm. great you perfect you got great pictures you got a great walk attitude all that but it's always my job interferes with with it mm. so have wow. you ever thought about putting your job to the side and you know focusing on more so just modeling uh no i feel like if i would have done that I should have started as soon as I got out of high school because it's more, I was way more younger and fresh out of high school. And I feel like I'll have more reliable place of a home. Like I can always come back home easier versus like now I'm 24. It's time for me to get on my feet and I don't want to be relying on my parents no more. Mm. And if I just stick to like go straight into modeling, I don't know. I just feel like I would just get, homeless or something <laughs> oh my god <laughs> hey she's thinking Yo. I, I, I mean like i've thought about it before like get a trailer and go park it somewhere in california <laughs> no you like, don't want to do that she's ready <laughs> no look well, people you'll... live in trailers in california <laughs> see I, see i mean that could probably work but i don't think i can live that long and wait on a, a modeling opportunity to hit. And you know, modeling is a real high competition out there. It's really competition. Right. That's true. Yeah. I mean, you would be looking like them homeless people out there in LA. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> They'll probably try to not in place like you gotta keep moving your truck everywhere. They probably gonna try to steal me away, take me, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I mean what cities have you really thought about when it comes to modeling? I know a lot of people um, focus on LA, but I mean, when it comes to the fashion industry or modeling, you could really be in any state and still be successful. How do you feel um, about other states? Like I've been to New York. See, okay, the difference is when it comes to certain modeling industries like Chicago and New York, they're going to want their models, especially if you're going to like for Ford, um, next model agencies, they're going to really want you to be over five, eight and up. Like that's just mainly guaranteed for sure, for sure. But if I go to California, I think I'll have a quicker chance with Cali because they accept people my height a little bit more than okay. New York and Chicago. Makes sense. That's probably the only difference i'll have to choose from based off of that okay hmm. Hmm. yeah That's la yeah i feel you on that because yeah, you know LA. like la is more they're hollywood they have all types of like avenues you can get into like modeling movies and all that but when it comes to new york 
they're they're the fashion industry. They are really going to be strict about it. So <laughs> they're going to be on point <laughs> with their type of modeling, who they choose. Right. Yeah. You know, and do you see the modeling industry changing in the way? Uh, one of the questions is since COVID and, you know, with a lot of people um, losing jobs and changing industries, do you see like modeling changing during COVID with, you know, more plus size? We're starting to see a lot of plus size models in Cali. So they are. how do you feel the modeling industry is changing? I think it's a good idea. I really like it. Only thing... <clears throat> I know more people are coming more famous off using their Instagram platforms and TikTok. I don't know how to use TikTok yet. <laughs> and I was told I should try to use it, but yes. um, I'm trying to, I'm still learning how to use it. You should just download it. I actually downloaded it last night. It it can help you. It I can have help it. You. Look, I have it. So I was trying to make the select challenge and I'm so confused on how they get the red light video. I just don't know how, how they're doing it. Don't, don't, don't feel bad because I, I don't even know what's going on. I, <laughs> exactly. be too. I don't even know. Like the editing, I don't know. It's just like a lot of editing you got to do. It takes yeah. time, I guess. But I think that's what's actually helping the modern industry now than what it was like years ago when America's Next Top Model first came out. We didn't have social media like that back then. So, um, I feel like, like if I do go to college, my chances probably be more better. Yeah, if I could. Hey, that's the goal. You got to keep your goals. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, like of course, like, um, I've been discouraged plenty of times with modeling, like, so many times because I'm thinking everything should be happening quicker so if i see someone else that hasn't like been modeling as long and they get a gig quicker than me and i'm that will discourage me yeah i, I mean i wouldn't be discouraged by that though i'll tell yeah. you that because a lot of a lot of stuff behind the scenes ain't about modeling trust me so yeah. as long <laughs> as you're getting some money just <laughs> modeling you good you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah yeah <laughs> Rejection happens a lot in the industry. Like you said, modeling is like a very competitive thing. And like he said, it's not just always about, oh, if you're pretty, if you're tall, if you can walk good. It's sometimes, like you said at the beginning of this interview, connections. A lot of people in Hollywood have connections and that's how they kind of get to the top, you know, yeah. when it comes to the industry. Exactly. And like, I think my downfall would be is the connections because I kind of get, I'm kind of shy a little bit <laughs> unless I get to know you. So I'm not the type that's just going to walk up to you and just in introduce myself. Like I'll probably need somebody else to do it for me. Uh, uh, <laughs> who we're here for. Yeah. Well, 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 you know, you, you could put like a, a, a home page together where you just be like, look, I model. This is my price. Holla at me. <laughs> And you know what I'm saying? It. When yeah. you ready, put the money where, you know, boom, and then you be good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you ain't got to worry about it. That's Especially right. when they see this interview. They gonna be like, where's she at? <laughs> <laughs> so what are some of your fears or concerns when joining the modeling industry? Um, My fears of joining... I would probably mainly say I don't want to get caught up on the bad side of the modeling. You know, be quickly, um, what's the word? Not influenced, like, I guess quickly influenced, easily influenced. Is that the quick word? Yeah, yeah. easily influenced. Easily influenced about anything because I don't want to, like, lose myself in the process of modeling just so I can make it big. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, mm. a lot of that happens with a lot of models. Like, they'll do any and everything to get where they want. and But then, at the same time, they're really hurting on the inside. Mm. And I don't want to get down that road. That would be, like, the only fear I would have with when they're joining the industry. Yes, mm. that's a that's a major, that's a big thing in the industry because, like you said, everyone's so competitive. You know, some people don't see it the way you see it. You know, you're just trying to model 
and get your money and do your career, but they see it as, oh, competition, competition. So they're going to say anything they can to bring you down or do anything. So as long as you kind of have that mindset that you don't want to be easily influenced, that could definitely help you in the long run. Facts. So that's Facts. amazing. Facts. Facts. Yeah, I So agree. when was your last photo shoot that you done? Ooh. Like my last photo shoot technically my last recent photo shoot was with my ex <laughs> <laughs> i haven't like like i said like since i've been back home i've just been trying to like find my job so i haven't had my recent photo shoot since last year over the summertime okay so i've been you know i was really just trying to get me a job asap since i had graduated but yeah. I mean, I still have my photographers here, so it's not hard for me to get my photo shoots done. Yeah. Sure not, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if you keep your portfolio going, you might, you know, still yes. pitch it, you know, things like that until yes. the right deal comes along, you know. Until the right deal. Yeah, one of my um, photographers I photo shoot here, he's wanting to, like, um upload send some of our photos that we've done to some of the local magazines so we'll see how that works nice. that's okay. amazing yeah we'll that's see. Awesome. hopefully that i mean hopefully that'll be good <laughs> <laughs> so if you were asked if you were given an invite to join the modeling industry what is something that you personally would change or try to change it could oh, like be this it could be stigmatism around weight, height, food, um, even like you said, how people just do anything, but in the inside, they're not happy. So would you join orgs? Would you create your own foundation? Would you join foundations? What are your goals? Besides I would just join a, I would probably join more into the foundations. I don't, or if I could, I will probably make up my own local agency. That would be a goal. That would be a goal. Dope. Have my own and then like help teach models that runways and all that stuff and get them, help them build, get them signed to higher agencies. Like uh, pretty much that would be more called of a mother agency. They're local okay. and they help you get into the bigger, higher up agencies. That would, mm. be, that would be really nice to do. That would be nice. That would Definitely be. after you, you know, you said you want to get a gig and then after you like show the world that you got it then you could go help other people you know yep, yep. so that's amazing and like, it is. and like since i modeled here locally a lot of the fashion designers will ask me to help teach the girls how to walk so i already got experience on yes coaching, so i'm good on that. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome I can't like, deal. Yeah. like that's, that's my favorite runway that is, is actually my favorite part of modeling walking Yes, I love yes. runway. <laughs> she does. Mm. I love runway. <laughs> like mm. I'm, I'm shy a little bit on the outside, but once you see me walk, it's a whole different story. <laughs> when she models, you can't tell she's shy. Nope. <laughs> right. Wow. Wow. <laughs> nope. So, what is your one? What is your favorite food and why? My favorite food is cereal. <laughs> <laughs> I can't like look. That's one of mine too. I ain't gonna lie. Look. That's one of mine. Oh wow. Okay. All the cereals all the way up here, and I just bought them four days ago. That's <laughs> really your favorite. I eat cereal nonstop. Uh, I don't know. It's just like an addiction now at this point. <laughs> I cannot deal. She said cereal. Hey, cereal. It's what you cereal. Like. I don't, um, but outside of cereal, I'll eat some tacos. I love tacos, um, and fries. Tacos and fries. Yeah. Okay. Tacos, fries, and cereals. Taco Guys, fries, cereal. hey. that's my favorite. Hey, don't that's... let the agencies hear you. I'm just joking. Oh, no. <laughs> they gonna hey. say, make your taco vegan. <laughs> Obviously, it's working. You know, it so it is what it right? is. Battery. Whole bunch of cereal, y'all. You hear that? A whole <laughs> bunch of cereal. That's the key. Whole bunch of cereal. <laughs> and fries and tacos. <laughs> perfect. It's a perfect mix. 
So when, like, basically, what are some of your best memories from modeling, nursing, your life in general? What are some of your best memories? Co- meeting Coco was my favorite, as in the modeling wise. Um, uh, let's see. For my nursing, well, I haven't got to fully start it yet, so I'm just like, just been practicing and just studying up right now. Um, trying to get a heads up with my nursing mm-hmm. program. Um, well, this fall, like I said, um, starting my last business, so nice. That's been really good. Got them going. Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, okay. Should, I've always loved lashes, so but I'm just not being able to actually start it and get, um, you know, that would probably be my favorite. Nice. That's amazing. That's actually, I think we could probably put that on the screen. Let me yes. see. Let's yeah, I see. think I sent that. We're my and I sent my modeling. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get you, girl. Okay. No. Is this it right here? Yeah. Yep. That's it. I just started it. Okay, so everybody, you hear that? Y'all, y'all go follow that right there. I dedicated beauty. <laughs> she That's did. Right. She told y'all what it meant. Yeah, <laughs> and it also means my name. <laughs> nice. I thought that was pretty dope. Yeah. So everybody, go. If y'all need y'all lashes done, you already know. Louisville, Tap Kentucky. In. You said where is it at again? Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. Yes. So Say now, Louisville. Louisville. Yeah. Louisville. Louisville. <laughs> Louisville. Yeah. Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> There's the country accent right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Louisville, Kentucky. Y'all see that? Y'all tap into that. Um, definitely go follow that. Let's see. Oh, where did Orion go? Orion. Oh. oh, while she doing that, let's see. Okay, we have. Also, we have your um. Your actual photos. Oh, yeah. there she is. There she is. There you go. I um. Oh, I have my modeling page. I went I out. To... No. <laughs> what happened? My 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 de- my device died. Oh jeez. <laughs> also, I have my modeling page. Um, I kind of just use that too. Oh, I, I I think we looked on there. It was uh, it was private, but. Oh my modeling. Yeah. Hold on, so I can't quite exit out of here. Yeah, but what we do uh-huh. have is uh photos. Uh, Raya, did you wanna um? add any other questions before we do show her f- photos or any i don't know anything like that um yes so at the end we always ask a number 10 question and number 10 is something that inspires you something that you took away from this interview and a tip that you would yourself as a modeling expert tell other people that want to get in the industry okay um What's inspiring me is, I would say my mom pretty much more inspires me because she helps keep me motivated because I get into like my depression really easily and um, setbacks quick. So, but she helps me keep moving up and keep moving forward and making sure I stay on task. So she's pretty much my more inspiration for me. Nice. Uh, what I took away from this interview was y'all giving con- uh, tips about connection. You got to be able to step out your bubble um, and just get out there. Don't let nothing fear you. Don't, di- don't get discriminated, uh, discouraged. That's the correct word. Sorry. <laughs> don't, get dis- <laughs> don't-, That's right. don't get discouraged. But, of course, don't get discriminated either. Don't be discriminated. But... Um, that was a good advice from you guys. Um, the tip that I would give to new coming models that's wanting to join is just stay yourself. Like you can grow as a person, but don't change who you are for the next person. Don't be somebody else because they want you to be somebody else. Always stick to your true self and just 
grow as in leveling up in business wise, money wise, but don't change like your full personality. That's yeah. right. That's, That's right. right. Be That's yourself. Right. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. See, that is your own agency. <laughs> huh? That's why you need your own agency. So you can be able to tell people that because like some modeling agencies, they don't, they don't do that, you know? So they don't, they, a lot of modeling agencies want you to be at their expectations at all times. Period. At all times. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. And anybody that definitely want her services, best believe we're going to have all the links down below. Yay! You know, so definitely check those out <laughs> and, uh, you know, see what she got to offer for sure. I would say, uh, well, last but not least, let's get into some photos at least, right? Okay, okay. All right, let's check it out, you know, yeah. let's do it. Here we go. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. So that's my modeling page, the Tay E D B, which I don't know why it's y'all said it's private. No, these are actual photos that you sent us. Oh so. no, I meant like no Instagram page. I think your personal account is private. Oh yeah, that's just my personal account. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, but we did we did take some photos out of here and um well that we got and we wanted to show the, the audience just a little taste of what you got going on as far as your modeling and um they could definitely go follow you. We'll definitely have all the links down below to go check it out more in depth for sure. Amazing. Yes. So what so so explain this photo real quick. What what is this photo about? Um, well, this photo shoot was actually set up by the photographer. Um, nice. He has basically just sent me like an inspiration that he wanted to do with a girl like that had like baggy outfit. Um, I'm really into like the '60s look, so I kind of good thing I had this big old jumpsuit. Like it's really really big at the bottom, and that was just an idea that he wanted to do. Mm, mm. I like that a lot. Yeah. Babe. It was really nice. Dope. This is my idea of my picture. Uh, I was going for the old school type of feel with the old school TV. Um, a little bit of the whole party type of idea. That was my idea of the shoot. Right. This is dope. It is. Okay. This mm. happened on the, um, this was a summer shoot. Mm. And actually, I was actually outside in the background. The backdrop was actually outside. Wow. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's definitely a dope shot. This oh. was at one of my uh, fashion shows. You see my mom? She's with the pink phone in the back. <laughs> 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 That's my. <but, laughs> oh, wow. Right yeah, here. That was one of my <laughs> runway fashion shows. Um, this designer, she her name is Araya Kaluba. She's from here. I went to high school with her. Um, she's now in uh, New York. She designed oh. clothes. So this is one of her outfits. Mm, nice. That is nice. This was one of my ideas of my photo shoes. Of course, you know, I got that. I was doing that disco feel with my disco ball earrings. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That Little shots is really good. The Great. photographer on this one, uh, his name was Cam Cameron Photography. Nice. Awesome. This Ooh. one was, he, he's one of my favorite photo photographers here locally. His name is Terrence Humphrey. Okay. This was his idea of a photo shoot. Looks wow. Like I know you guys see this in gals. <laughs> Y'all need this, right. you know. Like I, say, yeah. I don't really smile in most of my photos, and I finally got some where I'm smiling. <laughs> nice. Oh, girl, got a smell. For oh, sure. No. <laughs> of course, the legendary supermodel Coco Rocha at mm -hmm. her model boot camp in New York. We was yeah. on set doing this photo shoot. She actually styled, styled us. That was the outfit that she styled us personally out her closet. 
Mm. I had the uh, Moschino boots on. Okay, Moschino. Yeah, Moschino. Mm. Ballin. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. This was another photo shoot. This was, I was trying to go for, you know, most uh, modeling agencies, they want you to have uh, full body photo shoots and something really simple. So that's what this photo shoot was for. Nice. Like that. Mm. Whoa. We was trying to do that whole, uh, like a Calvin Klein look, trying to aim for that type of style. <laughs> it looks amazing on that one. You look like it's high level. This is like I'm like, telling you. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It has like, to be the connection. <laughs> it it gotta to be. be. It gotta be the connection. Wow. Well you know, uh crazy thing is like I get more nervous on photo shoots than I do runway. Really? I do. Photo yeah. shoots is really nervousing because like you gotta make sure you hit the right poses and not the same poses over and over and you also want to make sure you're changing up your facial expressions and i was just usually i i really be nervous on photo shoots but i make it work <laughs> yes that's all you can do is make it work they look amazing thank you she's an amazing model she really is you know she's done a few gigs for me and each show she's actually won each show so right we had to do what we had to do yeah <laughs> <laughs> she got it she got it for sure wow it seemed like you're just super versatile too like all these photos are like different moods you know what i mean different levels definitely. of uh style and things like that so i commend you you're definitely doing your thing Thank um you. anybody out there you know just come with the bag all right just come with the bag <laughs> and then Everything else will be fall in place. All right. right. All right. Bug me some gigs. I'm trying to go out the country. <laughs> Period. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Wow. Wow. Well, there you go. Thank you. Like I said, everybody, all the links will be in the description. So you already know. Boom. Thank you. That was <laughs> so happy that you came here today, Taylor. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your wisdom, um, what inspires you, when you started modeling, um, things you've done. We just appreciate you even agreeing to come put yourself out here to the world. You know, that's a hard thing to do for some people. So thank you for this having me. I'm glad you picked me. This was definitely a good experience. I hope there's more. Yeah, <laughs> there's more. <laughs> yeah off top off top and definitely it's nice to meet you um i will say for for sure just being around in the industry and seeing raw talent a lot um what you said in your interview always just stick with it if you can i understand you got other things going on but you're also an entrepreneur you also got the modeling so just be creative with it to where you don't gotta hustle and bustle as much just yeah. like you're doing here you know hopefully this can bring something in for you um yeah. and uh i just wish you the best for sure thank you i salute you Bless i salute you, you. i salute y'all <laughs> <laughs> you know that's right that's right yeah. and everybody um i need y'all to go ahead like subscribe hit the bell notifications you already know what time it is and uh yeah follow fo follow uh the beautiful model right here taylor do your yes. thing yes. <laughs> hey and we out we out All right. thank you